God, these mirrors really suck. I miss my bar end mirrors I had on the 919. Those things were amazing. I could see, I could basically see it like a 360 all around me just by looking in the mirrors. <laughs> Nah, I'm kidding, but they were a pleasure, man. I didn't have to move or anything. I just looked in the mirror, and I could see all the way behind me, no problem. These mirrors, I look in them, two-thirds of the mirror is covered up by just my arm. I mean, either the mirrors really suck, or I'm just a bigger guy. Nah, it's either mirrors suck or I suck, right? I think I suck, because this bike is awesome. One thing I love about this bike is that it starts no matter how long it's been sitting. The most of my bike has been sitting so far has been one week. And that's because I just haven't didn't feel like riding that for a while. You know, when I did decide to go ride, I went outside, I turned the bike on, it flipped the switch, and sure enough it started right up. It was beautiful. So, I mean, nothing but praise for this bike so far. And it's actually pretty comfortable. It's not it's not bad. You know, it's not as aggressive as all the other super sport bikes. This one's actually very comparable to my uh, VFR, actually. I'm trying to wipe the lens off. I don't know if there's mist on it or not. But, yeah, I mean, I'm surprised how comfortable this bike is, actually, for a sports bike. Um, I actually bought new tires. I finally got new tires in. I'm so excited. I can't wait to put them on the bike. Um, I got them in the mail today, or the UPS guy delivered them. And, God, just by taking them right out of the box and just feeling the rubber on those tires, it felt so much better than what I currently have on this bike. Because, as you know, the tires on this bike are five, six years old. And they have hardened up quite a bit. So I've always been kind of skittish about this bike, taking turns and all that stuff. Because it's scary, really. You know, you don't really have as much grip. So I can't wait to put these new tires on and be able to take corners with confidence and feel a lot better. And actually, you know, feel great. Because, I mean, there's not many corners around here. You know, the best thing you can do is go to, like, a traffic loop or something and take those, you know, on and off ramps, you know, semi-aggressively so you can get some kind of lean angle. Some kind of, uh, you know, exhilaration. But I can't do that with this bike right now because I'm scared as hell. I don't know what that noise is. It's either water or it is my bike. I think it's water. Am I going the right way? <sighs> I'm kind of lost. I'm trying to find where I gotta go take some pictures at, but I just not remember for the life of me. I'm trying to enjoy this nice day. But I'm kind of confused of where I'm supposed to go. Oh man, I gotta show you this gnarly scratch on my tank. Oh. I don't know if you can see it too well, but that's where my scratch is. Pretty freaking gnarly. See, that's what you get when you don't check your tank bag for small gravel. Oh, now I gotta live with that forever. <laughs> oh well.
But yeah, I can't wait. New tires. I'm excited because, you know, basically those tires I'm putting on the bike are going to last me for at least a year. So I think the most I've ever put on the bike was in a year. It was like 12,000 miles or something like that. So, um... You know, I kind of want to take a picture right there. Maybe another day when the sun's out more. But yeah, basically the next tires I'm getting are going to last me an entire year. The ones I got now are garbage. It sucks too because there's tons of tread life on them, but... God, they're just not safe. Like, if I were to get into an emergency panic stop situation, I wouldn't be able to grip as ideally as, you know, I would like to. And, you know, once, uh, uh, once it rains, these hard tires are a lot slipperier than a newer set of tires. Ah, yes, I know where I'm going now. I can hear dueling banjos now. Whoopsies. I didn't mean to hit 